Chapter 5. Creating the Model Terrain Step 1. Creating the Site In this chapter, we will create the terrain in the natural rocks that surround the house and form its environment. After opening the proper ARCHICAD project file, activate the appropriate preset view located in the Creating Site Outline folder of the view map. Create a new independent worksheet using the document Documenting Tools Create Independent Worksheet menu command. Enter W02 for the reference ID field and DWG Terrain for the name field. The new worksheet will appear under Worksheets in the project map of the navigator. With the worksheet window open, use the File, External Content, Place External Drawing menu command. Find the terrain.dwg file located next to the project file. Select it and click the Open button to import it. In the appearing dialog, make sure that one inch is chosen for the set value of one drawing unit in dialog and click the Place button. Select the placed drawing and use the Edit, Reshape, Explode into Current View menu command. Now, select all elements in the worksheet and ungroup them by using the Edit, Grouping, Ungroup menu command. Right-click anywhere in the Worksheet window and choose the Go To Floor Plan menu command from the Context menu to go back to the Floor Plan window. These Context menu commands are always available to help you quickly navigate among the last used viewpoints. Set the worksheet you just created as your trace reference by right-clicking it in the Project Map and choosing Show as Trace Reference in the Context menu. The content of the worksheet immediately appears as a trace under the floor plan. Click the Drag Reference button on the Trace and Reference palette. Move the whole trace reference so that the topmost node of the house's outline is located at the point of label arrow 1. Activate the second preset view located in the Creating Site Outline folder within the view map. Select the Mesh tool in the Mesh 1 entry in the Favorites palette. Create the terrain by space-clicking the contour pointed to by label arrow 1. With the Mesh tool active, select the mesh you've just created by shift-clicking anywhere on it. If the Multiply dialog appears on the screen, please click Cancel to close this first. Then, activate the Mesh Point option. In the appearing dialog, Set minus 15 feet for height and make sure that the Apply to All checkbox is checked. Then click OK. Activate the next preset view. Select the mesh and choose the mesh tool from the toolbox. Space click all ridges pointed to by the labels. When pressing down the space key, you'll notice that the cursor changes its shape and turns into a magic wand the magic wand will automatically trace the ridges. You can add them to the mesh by space clicking on them. When you space click a ridge and the new mesh points dialog comes up, select the fit to user ridges radio button and click OK. Do this for all ridges called for by the labels. Now we have all the ridges but the heights are all set to the same value. Let's set the proper heights to finish creating the terrain. Pick the Set Terrain Ridge Heights preset view. Keep the mesh selected and the mesh tool activated. It's easy to set the height of the ridges. Click anywhere on the ridge. Select the Elevate Mesh Point button from the appearing pet palette. In the appearing dialog, set the height with the value shown in the label text pointing to the ridge. Check the Apply to All checkbox, then click OK. 
In this way, you can set the height of the whole ridge in one step. Repeat this with all the ridges. When you're finished, you'll have the terrain done. Have a look at it in the 3D window.